Okay, so you're getting healthy, you're losing a few pounds, and you're talking about how much money you're spending and how expensive and complicated all this is. None of this that I'm uh, putting out there is expensive or complicated. I'm saying drink a green smoothie made with dark leafy vegetables and add probiotics. So here's some example of probiotics. You've got acidophilus. This is the stuff found in yogurt. If it's any good at a store, it's going to be kept in a um, refrigerator. Otherwise, there's no point in buying it. And this little container here is going to be around, uh, depending on where you go, $20 to $30. So that's one way avenue you can go. You've got plant enzymes. These are cheaper, probably not as effective, and they're not live cultures, but they help for certain things, and I would recommend taking some kind of plant enzyme a couple times a week, if not every day. It's about $7 for that container. You have the one that everybody knows about, which is basic whole fat yogurt. It's good for you. It has acidophilus in it, and uh, for doing keto, it may have too much protein and um, so you might want to really pay attention to how much yogurt you're using then you have things like raw milk which I'm sure is available somewhere if you just gotta find it it's gonna be at a co-op like out here or you're gonna see it um, you have to look online and there's directories that will tell you where you can buy raw milk and then you have kefir milk which is what is in this container. The best of all of these things here and the cheapest at the same time is kefir milk. There's over 280 live enzymes in here and there's also forms of yeast which will essentially kill the bad guys in your gut and recolonize the good guys. Why it's the cheapest? Because you can buy ordinary milk that costs two dollars a gallon and buy one container of kefir which you can also find at just about every grocery store, and add that to your gallon of milk. And guess after about a week, two weeks, you're going to have a whole new culture growing in this gallon, and you're going to have your own gallon of kefir milk. So the whole point is, is that before you go out and buy anything expensive, any kind of supplements, you have to get your digestion right or else it is completely pointless. You have to have, be able to absorb all these nutrients and otherwise um, you're basically throwing money away. That's why I point to the importance of enzymes and everything that you do and I keep going back to the same thing which is piperine. Piperine is an apolar molecule so what is it going to do? It is going to potentiate all the foods that you're eating throughout the day so that's why I point out that piperine is the only other supplement that I add to my smoothie because <clears throat> it is going to bond to all the good stuff and bring it right across through your small intestine right into your blood it's very unique in that it has both a positive and negative charge this piperine costs three dollars on powder city and uh, you only need about 25 milligrams a day for it to be effective. This is the ingredient that clinical studies have shown when used in uh, conjunction with curcumin potentiates curcumin by 1300%. So if you're looking for results with turmeric, turmeric only has about 10% bioavailability the active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin. In order to potentiate the curcumin, you need piperine. This information is not top secret. You can look it up online. It's just about anywhere. And essentially, piperine is the extract of black pepper. So I hope that you'll get some of these things, some good enzymes going into yourself, and combine it with piperine. There's nothing complicated going on here. There's only enzymes and this potentiator. So leave all the superfoods out of it, forget all that stuff, and just stay with kale, parsley, turmeric, ginger, enzymes, 
and some piperine. That's all you need. All right, hope this helps, Mom.